are gonna be doing some baking in this video. A lot of you guys really liked our Thanksgiving video and I'm making a bunch of Christmas cookies today and I wanted to do something similar, a calm aesthetic video. I'm actually gonna try and show you what I'm making and I'll put it up on the screen for each thing that I'm making. And then I'll also link all of the recipes in the description. Some of them are mine, some of them are not. You're gonna get it all. Everything that I'm able to provide to you, it's gonna be below. I also wanted to show you, I rearranged our kitchen yesterday. <laughs> I have the camera all set up over there, but we are having a party this weekend with our friends for Christmas. And we're all gonna decorate gingerbread houses. We're having a little gingerbread decorating contest. And I'm pretty excited to actually have people over and hang out with some friends. And you guys are gonna get to vote on which one you think is the best gingerbread house. We needed space to do that. So I moved our table to the center of the kitchen. I moved our little island set up over there. It's kind of chaos right now, but I don't know. We'll see how this works out. I might leave the kitchen like this because I kind of like having this central sitting work zone and this table is actually almost the exact size our island will be when we, when we build it. So it's really cool to see it in here and it fits very nicely. It also reminds me of like old school grandma's kitchen where there's always the table in the middle and you use it as a workplace and I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be super handy for not only building the gingerbread houses, but for also making all these cookies that I'm about to make. Let's get into making some cookies. The first cookie we're going to make is a candy cane twist. I have the recipes all printed out for these, but I will link them for you. Taylor specifically requested this one and so that's why I'm going to start with it because he's been looking forward to these. The red and the white dough need to sit in the fridge for an hour. So while that's while that's resting in there, I'm gonna make the dough for peanut butter blossoms because I think these also have to sit in the fridge for 30 minutes. One cup of granulated sugar. One cup of packed brown sugar. A cup of peanut butter. It says creamy peanut butter, but I think you'll probably use either. I prefer creamy. So this kind of cookie is the cookie. They're peanut butter flavored. They're rolled in sugar. And then they also have a Hershey's Kiss on top. My grandma used to make these, or she does make these every year. I haven't had hers in a few years, but we started making our own because I missed having them. We haven't lived nearby my family in a while and I was missing these style of cookies. I used to make them with her when I was a kid and stuff. So I was craving these a few years ago and we've made some improvements to the recipe, at least in our opinions, just the recipe in general, not my grandma's specific recipe. We've made them significantly chewier so they're not like as hard, they're easier to bite into, which helps because they have chocolate in them and it's always been like hard to bite into that chocolate center. And then we also use Rolos instead of Hershey's Kisses because they're just a lot easier to eat and honestly, in my opinion, they taste better. Not a lot of 
later. are gonna have another cozy full day of baking Christmas goodies today. I'm gonna start out with making rosemary chocolate chip shortbread cookies. I can't link the exact recipe for you guys um, legally. I'm just not allowed to. So I can, I'm going to link where you can get the recipe, but there is a paywall there. I don't get anything out of it. It's the homegrown magazine and I've got the recipe in there from our Midwest Roots on Instagram if you wanna go check her out. The re this recipe alone is worth buying that magazine issue. We're gonna start with those. While that dough is chilling in the fridge, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna make some caramel sauce, like a caramel dip almost, so I can make turtles. We're gonna do pecan, almond, and maybe walnut. Walnut? I think I have walnuts. The little chocolate turtles with caramel on them. After that, if I still have energy in me, the plan is to make some gingerbread houses for our party this weekend. Shadow in the dark recipe is just oh my my hair <laughs> this caramel recipe is just water sugar salt and heavy cream so I've never made this specific recipe before but we're gonna try it I know the key is going to be making sure I scrape down the sides so that the sugar doesn't crystallize because I always have that problem with making caramel but usually I just don't care because it's caramel I'm dipping apples in or something, like apple slices just to eat. With the turtles though, I want it to be like a nice creamy caramel. I don't want any grittiness to it. I usually only have that problem when I use the new sugar that we get, which is like, it's just organic cane sugar. If you use white sugar or like a smaller, finer grind of sugar, I have never had the issue with that. It's just this bigger grain of sugar that causes issues, but 
like I said, usually it doesn't matter to me. Let's find a place for only you and I. It's sure as a new sunrise. And as white as the moon is at night. It's sure as a new sunrise. Forever in your life. done um it's a little bit lighter in color than it should be because using this raw sugar it's really hard to tell how dark it's supposed to be before you add the cream but it should still taste good i got it up to the right temperature and i mean it can't taste bad right <laughs> like i know what i did wrong but i think it's still gonna be delicious and it's not it's not gritty so <laughs> a second batch of the caramel and it turned out the exact same color so I think maybe this version of caramel is supposed to be this light color I let that go a little bit longer and they all are covered and now I just gotta melt some chocolate to put on top of them I'm gonna do half dark chocolate and half milk chocolate and we're gonna start with the dark chocolate to briefly get technical with you on this I do know how to temper chocolate I don't really have good tools to be able to do so, and I don't feel like dealing with that right now. So I'm just melting the chocolate chips with a little bit of heavy cream so that they melt evenly and don't burn because I don't like microwaving them. It just never turns out well for me. And I feel like they're easier to spread, like it melts more evenly when I use it on the stove. So you can melt chocolate with like any sort of fat. It will help it melt evenly gonna melt it in here and I only added a splash of cream so it should harden up just fine still
Okay guys, it is again a new day. I have this rosemary chocolate chip cookie dough out of the fridge. I've actually had it out for a while because it was way too hard to roll out. So I am gonna roll this out right now and then we're gonna bake these. We're gonna package some things up for the freezer. That's why I'm making so many of these cookies because there's no way we could eat all of these right now. But I figured they'd be yummy for just snacking on throughout the winter whenever we're feeling like it. So I'm gonna be freezing a bunch of these, freezing a bunch of the peanut butter cookies that I made and some of the candy canes. Taylor wants to eat most of those. <laughs> he really, really liked that recipe. After I get these in the oven, I am gonna be prepping some food for our little party tomorrow. After that, we are gonna make our gingerbread house cutouts. And I'm nervous about that. I've only done it one time and it was my freshman year of high school. So like half my life ago. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. about to get to our little gingerbread house decorating party and I want you guys to vote and tell me which one of those is your favorite. I also had an Instagram vote and I will let you know which ones were the favorites over there on Instagram, one of our next videos. I do have one last thing to say before we get to that though. We had a viewer reach out to us and ask us to do a little favor for him for Christmas. And I thought it was just the sweetest request. So Leanne Iris, I hope you're watching. Benjamin reached out to us and wanted us to let you know how much he loves you as a little Christmas present. And he said how much you guys enjoy our channel. And we just want you to know how much we appreciate that and how much we appreciate having you as part of our community here. So we wanna wish the both of you, Baby Rose, Max, Dexter, and Edward, a very Merry Christmas. We heard you're gonna be doing a lot of gardening in 2024, just like us. So we wanna wish you the best of luck with that. And I also wanna say just Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to anyone else who's watching this. I hope you have a really lovely week with friends and family to end this year and and to ring in the new one. All right, gingerbreads are coming up next. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.